are atheists fools? Proof. God is real. The life of an atheist is sad because it's going nowhere. Once there was an atheist who died and was buried. On his tombstone was written, Here lies an atheist, all dressed up and no place to go. When the atheist Christopher Hitchens died, I tweeted, Either Hitchens knows he was wrong or he does not know that he was right. Of course, I was attacked viciously by the atheist Twitter community. In some ways, I have great respect for atheists. They believe strongly in evidence. They're skeptical. They reject non-scientific mumbo-jumbo and woo-woo claims of pseudoscience. They reject superstition. They're willing to change their minds as evidence changes. Even if atheists have not found the right answers, at least they're asking life's big questions. But in other ways, I feel deep pity for atheists. They value evidence above all else, but they cannot see the overwhelming evidence for God's existence. It is intellectually dishonest to deny God's existence since all creation shouts, there is a God. As G.K. Chesterton wrote in his Father Brown Mysteries, what we all dread most is a maze with no center. That is why atheism is only a nightmare. Atheists are fools because there is overwhelming evidence for God's existence. Anyone who ignores the evidence and doubts God's existence is a fool. Therefore, I think atheists are fools. It's offensive to atheists when they're called fools, but according to the Bible, that is what they are. Psalms 54.1 says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Atheists often demand proof of God's existence. However, they choose to reject the overwhelming proof that God has already offered, including the proof of creation, the special revelation of the Bible, and the evidence of Jesus rising from the dead. So what proof would the atheists find acceptable? They want to place God on a workbench in a lab and measure him, weigh him, and test his reflexes. One atheist explained, I want to see God write my name with his finger in the sky. All of creation points to the existence of a creator. People who choose to be atheists willfully ignore the evidence for God's existence because they are deceived by the devil. Although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their, fu- their foolish hearts were darkened. Daniel Colinda wrote that the devil loves atheists, although he is not one himself. Or, as the usual suspects movie puts it, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. True wisdom begins with the acknowledgement of God's existence. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Sometimes I think it's not worth the time to answer someone who refuses to see the overwhelming evidence for a creator. After all, the Bible says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. But there is hope even for the hardcore atheist. Perhaps the patron saint of the atheist should be doubting Thomas. He demanded very verifiable proof of Jesus' resurrection. Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We've seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came with the doors being shut and he stood in their midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have 
believed. But blessed are those who do not see me and still believe. Jesus offers Thomas the chance to test the resurrection with his own finger. But Jesus says it is better to believe without proof. In the same way, God is willing to offer proof to the atheist who sincerely searches for it. But those who believe without seeing will be even more blessed. Ultimately, God is discovered by those who look for him. As Jesus said to the two blind men who were seeking healing, according to your faith, be it done unto you. Your faith determines whether you ever see God. In the end, atheism is a temporary condition. The Bible promises that eventually every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Every atheist will someday be presented with irrefutable proof of God's existence when he or she stands in front of the throne of God. But by then, it will be too late. But it is not too late for you. You're alive. You're watching this video. You can be saved. If you call on Jesus, the Son of God, he will save you from your sins. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. And Jesus will save you. If you want more proof God is real, get a copy of my book by calling 1-877-431-4276 or by visiting kingministries.com. Proof God is Real is also available on Amazon. Get your copy today.